Hi, everyone, and welcome. I'm Greg Gumbel here with my partner, Clark Kellogg. Coming up on College Hoops Tonight, we'll reveal which head coaches may be on the hot seat as the season nears its conclusion, as well as show you the best action from around the nation. But first, we give some of the little guys their due respect with our list of the top 10 mid-major teams in college basketball. Top to bottom, they're certainly not as strong as a list of the top 10 major conference teams, but one or two of them have just as much talent as any of those teams, especially the team in the top spot. Pepperdine is a team that I'm not sure should even be included on this list because the schedule they've played could have put them in the toughest conference in the country. When you're a mid-major team, yet play that kind of schedule and still have a decent record, that says an awful lot. There are always a number of coaches at this point in the season who are under intense scrutiny from the fans how big is the hot seat this year, Clark? It's more like a couch right now, Greg. You know how hard it is to please those alumni. The Northwestern coach arrived on campus a short while ago, but he might have overstayed his welcome already. He just hasn't found much support so far in his tenure. It's not easy to gain the respect of a program, and here is an example of just how hard it can be. Everyone gets a little time to adjust, but exactly how long they get depends on the program. There is so much pressure to win big and to win now in a powerhouse program like this. If you can't get it done or fail to live up to expectations, fans and boosters have no problem pointing to the coach as the reason for the struggles. Even the most outstanding coaches come under scrutiny at big programs like this, and this coach was no exception. There were some fantastic matchups this past week, so let's take a closer look at them in our Games of the Week. We have a real surprise to show you. Not too many folks expected the result that came from this one. Arkansas knocked off Florida. If anyone tells you they had this pick, Greg, you know they're lying. Florida. We're jockeying for a number one seed, but this might throw a wrench in those plans. It would be tough to call them a top team after a loss like this. Winkfield took care of business in this one. His 17 points led the team. Watching him basically put his teammates on his back and single-handedly carry them to the victory in a big game situation like this was stupendous. And what a game we had as two top 10 teams squared off. Alabama toppled Kentucky. The Kentucky Wildcat didn't hold up their end of the bargain in this matchup. What we thought was going to be a close game ended up being a blowout. Alabama played some absolutely stifling defense. They made the guys on the other side work for every basket, and you can see that reflected in the shooting percentage. They never let up on the defensive end. That really took the pressure off the offense and allowed them to dictate the tempo of the game. To me, that was the biggest factor. That'll do it for us here in the studio. For my partner, Clark Kellogg, I'm Greg Gumbel. Thanks for watching College Hoops Tonight, brought to you by State Farm, the number one auto insurer. Enjoy the exciting week of College Hoops action to come.